Garrett Cole has had an exceptional start to his Yankees career, and he is the subject of the interview today with Meredith Morakovitz. Garrett, just how encouraged have you been, not only by your last outing, but really the performance of the starters as a whole to start the season? I mean, we've been uh, throwing the ball really well, uh, both the rotation and the bullpen. Um, you know, I, it's really kind of hard to ask for anything more. I think we've been pretty efficient. Um, everybody's feeling really good, and uh, we're making a lot of good pitches and uh, keeping ourselves in the ball game. So, Corey Kluber will get the ball this afternoon. What stood out to you about the way he threw his first time out? Yeah, I think just a little bit of that moxie, some big – Big pitches and big situations that you got to execute. Uh, I think he was, you know, a little bit left with um, some to be desired on execution uh, in terms of, you know, total amount of pitches. But you know, when he needed to make a pitch, he he did, and and uh, he kept us tight in the ball game and got as deep as he could. I expect him to, you know, pitch pretty well tonight. Doesn't Eddie know you're doing live TV there? He walks right in front of you, Eddie Garrett. Does, Eddie doesn't know. He wanted to put. He was like. He wanted to put uh, bunny ears on me. He was like, but uh, but I guess he just didn't didn't recognize we were doing it in center field. We'll give it. We'll give him a pass this time. You know what? When you look at this afternoon, it's opening day for the Rays. There's been a, a little bit of a rivalry brewing between the two teams since 2018. Do you expect that to carry over into this season? Yeah, I do. And will it sting a little bit watching them raise the banner this afternoon? Won't feel good. Do you feel as though you guys have the better team in 2021? Yeah, I think we do. Um, you know, but you still got to go out there and you still got to go out there and prove it. So uh, paper is one thing and, and games are the real thing. And so, um, you know, we're we're certainly confident and, uh, you know, but we we got to get the we got to get the job done when it's uh when it's all said and done so do you look at that team any differently considering the fact they were without without some of those big arms in their rotation this year like a Blake Snell I mean it's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to replace you know the kind of work that Blake's done you know talking about Cy Young award winner and uh, you know up-and-coming star in the game and obviously Charlie brings a pretty steady heartbeat I'm well aware of that and some big pitches and big moments that's kind of you know been the mo of his career so it's gonna be hard it would be hard for me to say that that doesn't have an impact but at the same time you know this team is always seems like playing really well together uh as a group um you know they're they're doing a lot of the details and the little things well that 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 kind of give them an edge on the margins uh, and i think that's what makes them competitive year in and year out at least over the last handful of years uh and it makes them a tough team to beat whether you're you know, out stacked on them in paper or not, um, you know. So, you know, those, they won the division last year. A lot of, you know, a lot of credit goes to them. They they play good baseball. They got to the World Series. They they did they did a nice job. And uh, you know, I I expect them to come out and and be pretty much the same regardless if they lost a couple players. So.